thought you didn't want anything to do with him. I don't. All right, I'm not interested in men. I'm not interested in anyone. You don't understand, Ronnie. You really don't. Oh, I understand all right, Rox. You just don't change, do you? After what I told you, after what I told you the other night about him and me. There is no him and you. Yeah, but there might have been. Well, there ain't now. Oh, what, so he's fair game? No, I'm not saying that, but you know who knows? If Sean hadn't have been around, if you hadn't have been on the scene. What are you saying? I'm just saying, who knows, who knows? Oh, well, you might have been together. You know, he's not the worst bloke in the world. Amy is his child. That's all I'm saying. There's nothing more than no, that. you like him and you're letting him know. Maybe, maybe he likes me. Do you ever think of that? No, he doesn't. And how do you know? Because he likes me, because he told me he likes me, okay? He bought me this champagne vintage. He bought it for me to toast the future. He said he wanted a future right, with and me. have you got one? Well, then. Do you know what? Maybe Dad was right about you. Maybe he's not been the problem all these years. Maybe it was you. He didn't say that. Yes, he did. And he said a lot more. He said you were a drain, Roxy. That you were selfish, that you were needy. Well, go on, keep taking. Carry on being the selfish, thieving cow that you've always been. You're just jealous. I don't think so. Not Jack, Amy. You just can't bear it, can you? You can't bear me having anything you can't. A baby. You're the selfish one, Ronnie, you are. You know what? You blame Dad, you blame me, but end of the day, end of the day, you were too self-obsessed to care for your own child. You gave her away and she died. She died in the arms of a stranger. So don't you preach at me, because unlike me, you don't know what it's like to love a child. Do you want to be the one to push her over the edge? Do you want that on your conscience? We're talking about a vulnerable, vulnerable woman here, Danielle. You need to let me talk to her first. You need to trust me. To pick the right moment. To break it to her. I can't. You can. You can trust me. I'm family, your family, real family. You're a Mitchell girl now. A Mitchell. There's something to be proud of. And I'm going to be proud, very proud of you. The most beautiful granddaughter a man ever had. A pretty, pretty, pretty girl. Those beautiful eyes. Lovely face. It's just like looking at your mum when she was your age. <laughs> 